Hey there, fellows. Okay, let's get straight to the point. You might have seen us making all sorts of prop shafts for a lot of... We'd use wood, crowbars, axes. We even made one using a spring this one time. As in, we replaced the prop shaft with a spring. Unfortunately, that last one did not work. It just kept binding and breaking. So yeah, so far we haven't been able to make an elastic prop shaft. But now a new idea has occurred to us. We couldn't get the spring to work. But right here we have a bunch of couplings. Typically you'd be running one of these in a lot of, next to the transmission extension housing. If we're gonna make an elastic prop shaft, why not use flexible couplings to do it? I went to the parts store and bought a bunch of them. And so now... Oh yeah, also nuts and bolts. In order to get all of them connected. Here's what I suggest we do. Let's make us that elastic prop shaft. Like, make it actually elastic. The real deal. This will also be a good opportunity to see how durable these couplings are. Of course, all of them are brand new. In order for this to be fair and interesting. Okay, so the idea is to assemble a prop shaft out of these and fit it to a car. At which point we start the engine and go do some testing. Let the experiment begin. Let's do this. Fellows, on behalf of the entire Garage 54 crew, I'd like to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And of course, don't forget to wish Happy Holidays to your own friends and relatives. Now, if you're looking for some cool gift ideas, check out the latest lineup of merch in our online shop. We're offering some trendy hoodies, neat-looking hats, baseball caps, an assortment of mugs and stickers, as well as an entire line of car accessories. Some of you were asking for kids-sized t-shirts, and now we got them. With some cool art. So treat yourself and your loved ones to some Garage 54 holiday goodness. Place an order before the new year and you'll receive a nice little extra surprise from me personally. Hit the link in the description. And don't forget to use the code G2022, which is good for a solid discount. This is what we're looking at. A wonderful elastic propeller shaft. Now we had to use collars to piece all of this together. Otherwise the bolt heads wouldn't clear each other. Without them, this would have been all crooked after tightening all of the fasteners. But as we are, it's all looking very good. But then after we installed it, check this out. It truly is elastic. That is the entire point of a coupling. So of course the prop shaft is going to be elastic. Anyway, we put together everything we had to. We've welded on the adapters, so that's good. Now I suggest we bring the car down. And I think it's high time to go for a drive. Okay, fellows, that elastic propeller shaft is ready for testing. We are off, slowly moving along. Oh, really? It's just gonna give up? Oh, come on, we're barely even moving. Holy cow! 
Holy cow! We've only driven like five meters. Why is it doing that? Apparently it doesn't take much to make it bind. Yeah, we should have started by checking it on the left. But then, I mean... Let's try going a bit faster. What a horrifying sound. Yeah, it's not working. Well, I mean it is, but it's pounding the car. It is getting bent up badly. Wait a second. I think that's a wrap. What do you mean? It's broken. It broke in half. Oh, wow. So all it took was a slight incline. And it is a very small incline. So we lost traction twice and tore it apart? Come on, really? So here's where we're at with this, fellows. These couplings appear to be really weak. Look at that, it's ripped like... like a rag doll torn apart by a dog balloon. Literally to shreds. Smack dab in the middle. It appears this area is under the most stress. Yeah, seems about right. We also made individual braking system channels for the... Manual limited slip experiment. And one of them actually wrapped itself onto the prop shaft, which obviously tore it off. We've got some fluid dripping into a bucket. Now we had to mend the underbody with a sledgehammer to fit all of this. But that didn't save us. So one, two, three, four, five. It hit the car a few times and disintegrated. Oh, and there's another one. How many do we have left? Turns out a total of three couplings have been destroyed. Let's check to see if we have enough left. Okay, let's go ahead and take this apart then. And insert some kind of guide, I guess. See what that does for us. Maybe it'll add some reliability. And then we continue the testing. We've cooked up something rather interesting here. So instead of fitting a small pipe that would slip into the spline connection, we're using a larger one in order to reduce the wobble to a bare minimum. Now we've welded on the pipe on one side but not on the other. As a result, the whole thing easily flexes. Oh yeah, and one more thing. We've replaced the broken couplings. And here we've got something on that's more of a... I think these are used for shipping or... for storage to keep the couplings from deforming. Now these bits... I've seen people leave them on the joiners a bunch of times. Which is something you really shouldn't do. It's not supposed to be here. It's for shipping and storage only. Okay, why don't we... go ahead and take this off? We don't need it anyway. You'd think this would increase the stiffness, but in reality... When you leave it on, that results in a bunch of unwanted vibration. As well as other adverse effects. Alright, let's go outside and... Uh, continue the testing. Hopefully this is able to propel the car up the hill. Let's do this. I've started the car. Now we try driving with this new setup. Let's see what happens. It should do better this time with the... joiner is not flexing as much. Not bad. You can feel it moving. I can still feel some vibration. We're already carrying some decent speed, and with no abnormalities. There is a bit of slapping going on. I mean, the joiners are not 107% perfectly balanced. And given the length of it, 
Yeah, you can definitely feel it with the seat of your pants, how they jump around on the pipe. For real? So we can't go any faster then? I only gave it a tiny bit of gas. What is going on? So the pipe can't keep them at bay? Seriously? Is there anything lying on the road? Doesn't appear to be. Everything is still intact. But I do hear knocking. We're only going like 12 kilometers an hour. Okay, so it looks like... The elastic prop shaft isn't faring all that well. But why though? I mean, we have the pipe in there. There should be no... No excessive movement up or down or left or right. But here we are. This doesn't scare you? I'm good. Not afraid of getting hit? Yeah, I think something just fell off. Oh wait, nope, it's still moving. Or trying to, at least. What's up? It's boned. Excellent. Let me try driving forward. Come on, just a little bit. Back up, so we don't have to push it as far? Okay, let's give it a try. I need to adjust the mirror. All right, let's back up slowly. Take it easy. That was scary. So is it gonna move or what? I don't think so. Is that it? It's all over? It broke apart? No, for crying out loud. Yeah, we just can't seem to make this work. And so there you have it. It appears that... Our elastic prop shaft doesn't want to propel and isn't elastic. Or it's just too elastic to propel, I don't know. This is what it has come to. One of the couplings has given up. The pipe was displaced, everything fell apart. But why, though? Well, it quite obviously binds pretty severely in this spot. But I mean, over there it's easily able to cope with the stress. Not so much here, though. Anyway, we've established that you can't use elastic joiners to make an elastic propeller shaft. We had such high hopes. It's one thing when it's a single joiner, but when you have a lot of them, shouldn't they work flawlessly? Evidently not. And that concludes this experiment. Yet another attempt to make an elastic prop shaft has failed. Couplings didn't work. We should have gotten some heavy-duty Neva ones. This is where we got with the stock joiners for a lot of And that's all I have for you, fellows. Watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. All right. Catch you later.